Here we come to part two of a live demonstration of applying the new Enopeel Iron Lip System. Um, the client has already got some Vaseline on the underside of the eyelashes. Uh, some people put Vaseline on the eyebrows and there's Vaseline on the vermilion. Um, the client will need to keep their eyes shut for a good 11 minutes in total. Uh, we've also gone over the skin so all the makeup has been removed. We've cleansed the skin and we've used our Enapeel preparatory solution which delipifies the area means that the Enapeel gel can transport the lactic acid and TCA into the skin. So I'm just going to get the applicator now that we showed how to prepare. You can see here this is locked. I'm just going to put that top to one side. Uh, hopefully I'm in shot. Um, see here that's locked so I can't actually push that down. If I quick it to there I can then produce gel onto the tip. Um, when I press the plunger in gently and away from the client's face it will produce 0.15 mil of gel onto the lid so you get a nice dough. Now if I can ask you to close your eyes please and remain closed I'm just going to apply this to the outer edge of the eye put the gel, turning the gel onto the skin and then with the applicator just draw it round under the eye and also over the top lid. And that's all you need to do at this stage so that's one layer the client, you need to ask the client every 30 seconds whether you can feel anything. I'm presuming you won't feel anything yet. Nope. Okay, that's good. As when you do, let me know. Now I'm going to again press the applicator, produce another 0.15 mil, and coming round and not over the eye, apply that again to the lateral canthus area, and then just spread it under the eye and over the eye. Just a gentle sweep. You're not trying to rub it in. The Enapil carrier system will draw it in. I'm then going to get a third, I want to call it a blob, but I'll call it, and I'm going to place that right on the top lip and just spread that across and then under as well. I'm focusing on the top lip particularly, not, not because Sarah needs it, but uh, that's often the area that people are most concerned about. Now that's one layer. That means that as the gel goes in with the Enapil carriers drawing a 15% lactic and a 3.75% TCA. Now in some darker skin types that might be enough. Um, but ideally we want to go up another level. Are you feeling anything yet? I'm just tingling. Just tingling? A little tingling? That's yeah, good. Um, on a 1 to 10 scale we are up 0, 1. 1. So I'm just going to do the second layer now again producing the gel applying it to the outer. We go around the same order under and over the eye, making sure you don't go too close to the tear duct. You can get quite close to the eye. Now I'm going to do the second layer, again applying it on the outside of the eye and then again just spreading it across there. Seen this used quite well post blepharoplasties and I've seen it also used to support dermal needling etc. So the second layer going onto the top lip now, just spreading that. You do get quite a lot of gel by the time you've got all the layers on. But as I say, it's what they call a monophasic gel. That means it stays in the gel phase, it doesn't melt. How are you feeling now? A bit more tingling? Yeah, about a four. About a four, that's mm. quite good. So that's, now we're looking into a 30% effective, 30% lactic acid and a 7.5 TCA. Are you okay? Just yep. spreading it around. So I didn't make you mean to <laughs> jump there. Just looking for erythema, looking for any frosting. As soon as you see any frosting with an end appeal, because it works sort of from the inside out, you would stop it there. So this is the third layer. I really should give the client some warning as soon as they've got their eyes shut. She's not scared of me really. Then we're going to do another blob and on that side. So we're now going on to what effectively would be a 45% lactic acid and 11.25 TCA. The, um, let's go into the top lip now, just so you repair yourself. Spread that a bit more. So the dose increases as the gel penetrates. Now we could go to a fourth one, but I'm going to say you're probably going from four to a five to a six now. Yeah. We want to keep this final layer on, whether the final layer is the second layer, the third layer or the fourth layer, that layer stays on for three to five minutes or until you see any frosting. 
So I'm not putting any more in now. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to lock the syringe by twisting it there, and I'm just going to continue to work the gel, making sure much of it is in contact with the skin as possible. Also, by doing it this way, the tip becomes a focal point for your eye line. That means you can actually helps you to spot any erythema or any frosting. Just making sure that as much contact with the skin as possible. And the lips as well. How are we doing on a score out of 10? Uh, about an 8. About an 8. Yeah. So we're getting to the point now we're probably thinking of stopping this. There's very little erythema. So what do we do now? So I'm going to put this to one side. And I'm going to get some um, gauze pads. And what the idea is now is I'm going to, with gently with my finger, I'm just going to wipe the gel away. You ready, Sarah? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to remove it again away from the center just take the gel away this doesn't neutralize I'm just removing any surface gel the TCA and the lactic acid are in the skin this is mainly gel on the surface let's get that bit there the area looks brighter already but you can see there's very little erythema it's because the N appeal takes the acids in the skin and doesn't really leave them on the skin so that's that. Now I'm going to get the N appeal neutralizer wipe, which is a wipe containing three mils of a 12% arginine solution. The reason why we lose the amino acid arginine is because we can also attach that to the N appeal carriers in solution, which means that wherever the TCA and lactic acid are gone, we can hunt it down and neutralize it. So I'm just going to blot it onto the skin now, and any tingling should start to dissipate quite quickly. I'm going to show you another technique as well as we do this. I'm just blotting on. Now this three mils of arginine will neutralize the acid. Wipe gently. We're not, we're, doing, we're not rubbing the skin. We're not trying to introduce erythema. We're trying to reduce it. Now I'm just going to demonstrate something here. If you just you see there's quite a bit of solution in here. And what I've seen a lot of people do, especially with his eye peels, is use the fingertips because it's quite a, a nice technique. In fact, um, somebody demonstrated this for me when I went to do some training. But the more of the neutralizer you can get on the skin, the better. One wipe is enough per procedure. Is it fading away now? It is, yeah. I'll just go around the lips again. This way you can get more on the skin and it's, I think, probably a gentler way. Try and keep it off the lips. It doesn't, these things don't taste very good. How's it feeling now? So it's uh, down to a one. That's cool. We'll just allow it a minute to work. Just keep blotting. Now, once this is all done, I am going to use water on the skin. Because the Enapil carrier system takes the TCA in the skin, after any Enapil, whether it's the Mandelics, the TCAs, or the pyruvics, etc., you can clean the skin with water afterwards. There's no danger of reactivating any acid, as a lot of other companies tell you with their peels. This is part of our bespoke peeling range, incredibly popular in a lot of the medi spas because we're focusing on the two areas, the aging areas of the sore, the ones around the mouth and around the eyes. How are we doing now? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so. All we need to do now is we're going to get some cotton pads. We're going to we'll just let this settle a minute, and any carrier remaining on the surface might feel a bit sticky. The client will feel a tightening. Shouldn't get any erythema. We will cleanse the remnants of the carrier from the skin with water. Then we're going to let that pat dry, and then we're going to apply a soothing, calming, hydrating, high factor sunscreen. Some people at this stage may well put. Uh, Tebby skin growth factors on or use Tebby skin high al. It's a good time to get things into the skin. But I hope the demonstration allows you to proficiently execute an N appeal, iron lip peel. Thank you very much for your time.